All right, I know, y'all gonna bust my chops. I'm late, sorry. Uh, put my little girl to bed, so, um, well, our oldest, so. Uh, forgive me for being tardy, I'm sorry about that. So, I would like to show y'all um, and talk about something. I'm gonna try to do a Carlos-style video, if you will, um, talk and work at the same time. Um, typically, I don't do that very well, but we'll see. So the title of the video, if you've already seen it, and we're going to give everybody a minute, I'm going to say hey to everybody. Hey, Charles. Hey, Don. So uh, I I guess I've been a little reluctant to talk about having a product line. It kind of feels weird talking about that. Um, I don't know. It's, it's I don't know. I, I'm grateful and proud of it, but at the same time, it's just kind of um, interesting. Um, so uh, every now and then I might highlight something, but I'm not trying to abuse any privileges or um, anything like that or just I don't know I I'm grateful so uh, Slurpee Jr. Um, got two of them right here and we're gonna be using um, Jupiter color and this is not to like hammer on this I'm just gonna show you how I do it okay and I think sometimes it's overlooked but I really wanted to touch on the detailing safety net and a lot of y'all may know this maybe y'all don't let me say hi to everybody hey Tariq hey Blake uh, Blake, your order got dropped off today. Hey, Bill. All right, who else is on? Hey, Tim. So put a one in the comments. Um, if you're catching me live, and a two in the comments if you're catching the recording. Blake, uh, does this work for you, bro? Just kidding. Um, so a lot of my time, I'm going to talk about time. A lot of my time is spent uh, trying to think how to word this. Um, I spend a lot of time interacting with a lot of y'all. So the detailing safety net, what, what is that detailing safety net if I can talk? So I hope that light isn't bothering y'all when I'm looking at it. Yeah, I love this Packers. Love me the Packers still. So uh, congrats to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So the detailing safety net, what is that? What does that mean? Hey, Adrian, how you doing, man? Hey, Tim. I'm doing well, man. I'm, I'm blessed. I have uh, this beautiful white Land Rover LR4 metallic white paint and... Um, we're at the paint prep stage. Um, I have three heaters in the garage right now um, trying to get this paint warmer. We, we're we at uh, 57 degrees, or 61 degrees, 57 centimeters. So back to the topic, what I was talking about. The detailing safety net. What is that? What are we talking about, Landon? And a lot of my time is spent interacting with y'all offline, like on Facebook Messenger. Majority of my time is spent doing that, majority of the time. Uh, I'm spending helping y'all and there is no greater um, blessing to be able to do that that is just something that I have loved doing for like almost three years now definitely love it but the detailing safety net what is that I and I'm gonna give you the example the detailing net safety net for me was Scott that's what it was when I was learning under him still learning but right off the bat it is like there's this person, whoever, for me it was Scott, but like when I was working on paint, first cars and stuff like that, it's funny because it was actually a Land Rover first when I touched, but it's nice to have that, know that somebody's there, if you mess up, you're going to be able to reach out to them and they're going to be able to help you out or maybe help you figure it out. I don't think that I have all the answers, I don't, but I do the best I can with the time I have and um, I'm grateful that y'all... Um, reach out because it's just as fun for me and helps me learn and um i love seeing the the light go off it, it's just fun so it's it's a big deal because i think for me i feel like when i was doing it it, it really helps when you have that safety net if you will and it really takes that kind of the overthinking aspect out and so like even scott even for me it's always been my focus uh, focus but I love helping beginners or anybody just getting started in paint correction what's a beginner I don't know but if you've never put a polish or on paint and pad and everything it's intimidating I know it is it may not be for everybody but some people it is and and you will overthink it it gets to a point where it will almost like it'll cause you to stress out a lot so it's it's a big deal but I I love the fact that you know when Scott was there for me, I could just look to the right and he would give me suggestions here and there, but it was just kind of that warm and fuzzy feeling and it builds your confidence and that's the biggest thing and that's what I love seeing with um, engaging with everybody on the side chat. I know Carlos does also and everybody else, there's plenty of people that offer help in this group, but it, it's really um, 
it's really awesome to see the, the light go off and just somebody get it or at least get the hang of something that day. So that that's my thing with the detailing safety net. It's it's fun and, and I love this community and DPC. So that's my spiel on that. So what are we doing? Okay, I'm gonna get into this really quick. Paint prep, I think, I feel like sometimes it may get overlooked on how like all the steps, whatever, if you will, but paint prep. I think it's one of the most important. Granted, we haven't polished yet, but if this is what I do, I always do before and then after I polish, but I think it's a big deal because, especially if we're doing the coating, we wanna make sure this surface is like nothing on it. No lubrication, no surfactants, nothing. And I wanna show y'all just how I do it. You can take it, you can leave it, you can use whatever you want. This is what I do, you can take it or leave it, and this has been the biggest win for me since I've done it. And it's more how, and I don't think I've ever shown it like in, in, in thorough detail, if you will. But it, I really can't stress the coverage, what I'm about to show you, and how much I use. When I tell y'all I use a ton of this stuff, here's three more, what, four more bottles, and I think I have another one over there. I, Scott even laughs at me when I'm applying. He's like, good God. <laughs> He's like, God bless America, you're using a ton of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the camera around and I hope the um, light, hope the light isn't too bright. So let me know if it is, I'm gonna flip it around. But what we're gonna do is I have a Slurpee Junior. Slurpee Junior, you're like, what? You can use Slurpee Junior? I love the Slurpee Junior. Lots of reasons, Twisted Loop is my favorite and I'm about to show y'all. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how I apply it and I'm gonna flip the camera around and well it better let me here we go so we're gonna go down whoop, down all right so that should be is that good can y'all y'all like that give me a thumbs up or something i hope y'all can see that so that's gonna be the paint prep i wish i could see how are my lungs still fine after what i don't know what you're what are you referring to brandon i'm trying to i'm trying to answer your question man i saw it what am i what am i what am i referring to So, okay, anyways, so we're gonna move on. So we got a Slurpee Junior, Slurpee Junior, and we're just gonna go over here and we're gonna apply this. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it. Here we go. So here we go with the paint prep. I take one Slurpee Junior, and you can do this with any towel. I just prefer Twisted Loop. It is like my new favorite thing in the world, but don't feel like you have to have this or something like that. So I have some dedicated ones. And typically, um, they're my little throwaway ones, or the throwaway ones that I would not sell y'all. So, here we go. And I'm gonna show you exactly how liberal I apply it. So, when we talk paint prep, I wonder how y'all do it. Like, do y'all go to this extreme? Y'all are gonna think I'm nuts. That's probably a little bit overboard, but I'm, I like it when I'm indoors. I like that. I like letting it dwell if I can. I like letting it dwell for a minute. And what I'll typically do is I'll hose this down also. You want this to be on there really good. Okay, now you're like, oh, you're crazy. Yeah, I know I'm crazy. Okay, so it's still sitting on there. It's not baking, but you can see we got it wet. You want it damp, you want it damp. You want it dripping, but you want, want it damp. I'm just talking about how I use this stuff, so please just take it or leave it, but this is how I do it. I'll get to the comments here in a second. So it's still on there. I might even hit it again if I'm seeing it dry. Do not do this in direct sunlight, okay? I can't stress that enough. You do not want to do that in direct sunlight. None of this should be done in direct sunlight. You want to be in the shade when you're doing this. I'll put it down and I'll work it. And we wait till it flashes. This stuff, it has a very visible flash when um, you apply it. This is exactly how I rub it in, all right? I make sure I get everywhere, all the coverage. And then now what am I doing? I'm waiting. What are we waiting for, Landon? We are waiting for it to flash. So I don't know if y'all can see it, but we are waiting for this to flash. And it's not there yet. It still hasn't flashed. I am hoping I can show y'all this but it's not, it's not even close to being ready to flash yet. So it's hard to show this because it's white paint, but we're still not, still not even there. Okay, and sometimes what I'll do, I might actually just spin the towel around because hey, if we're in high humidity, it's not gonna flash probably that fast. But I wait for it to flash, okay? I want it to flash completely, 
And this stuff is great because it has a really nice dwell time, okay? But why are we doing this? We're doing this, it's still, I, I tell you what, I apply heavy. I'm gonna try to bring the camera around here one second. Hold on, let me see if I can hold what I got. Whoop. Let's see, can y'all see that better? There we go. All right, so it's starting to flash. It's not done yet, okay? But this is how heavy I do it, all right? Now the paint's cold, so I might help it out, okay? But let's let's try to let's try to do, get this back on track here. Let's gonna set y'all down. Go left. I'm still learning this. Okay, so twisted loop. All right, so I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna take this one. This is my buff off. Okay, this is exactly how I do it with every car. I do it the same way every time. Carlos has seen me do it a gajillion times. I know, I know Scott. This is, I learned it obviously from him, but. I don't know if it's ever been shown how to do it, you know, or like this or anything like that. So when we say paint prep is key, how long are you letting it sit on there? Are you really letting it get all the grease and everything off the paint? That's the biggest thing that's going on because a lot of the stuff we use does leave something behind. We don't want anything behind and you can, it's squeaky clean, all right? That's not good enough for me. I always do two times. And there are like some solvent based, I think it's solvent based, yeah, solvent based, um, what are they called? Solvent based uh, polishes and compounds like that. I would do this maybe three or four times just because it's literally hard on the paint and you want to get that off the paint. Because if we have the paint as clean as possible, we're going to get the best bond possible for our coating, and that's why. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the most one of the most important steps right before you coat doing it And this is exactly how I do it. So there you can see how heavy I lay it on I'm not I don't skimp on this step at all. This is exactly how I do the whole vehicle and Put it down. We already massaged it. So Now we're gonna massage it in massage it in again, and I always do this two times before I polish and two times after why Landon because there's a lot of surfactants from the soap we use that are left behind, especially if it's like purple power vehicle boat wash or what I used on this, and you might be able to tell, I used um, my wires wash plus. Why the heck would you use my wires wash plus on this? Because this paint actually needed it. It was pretty darn grimy. Okay, so there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so got it on there. We're gonna let it go for a little bit longer. I'm gonna let it dwell, but I do like to help out the flash time when it's humid. Okay, so. Before polishing, there's surfactants on the soap. There's surfactants from uh, from our rinseless wash. If we're using that as a lubrication, there's surfactants left over there. There's oils left from lubrication. So <coughs> I can think of probably a million reasons, but those are just some of the ones off the top of my head. Okay. So this is the rhyme to the reason what I do. You don't have to do it this way. I'm just showing you what I do. You can take it or leave it. Like I said, I don't think anything I do is absolute. But I think we've talked about it enough to where, hey, Mike, let's do a demonstration on it, okay? So this is the demonstration. So we're almost there, okay? So I like even coverage, and I like it to sit on the paint for about a minute. If I can get it, I want it to be on the paint for about a minute and dwell and just get, we want all that stuff off. So you can use this with a um, thinner nap if you like, um, stuff like that. But the buff off on this is a big thing because... Um, it will streak on you, it will streak, but not in a bad way. You can get it off if you buff off, but if you do see it streak, just reapply really quick and it'll go away. All right, so that's, this is exactly how I do it. I just wanted to show it. I don't think I've ever shown it, showed it, shown it. I don't know. I don't, my grammar's horrible. Let me, let me see if I can uh, take this thing off the thing really quick and show y'all. So here we go. But there you go. Yeah, the paint is pretty darn Pretty darn smacked up, okay, but we're gonna fix that. So, wanted to show you all that, but that's, that's my why, that's my reason to the craziness, but it's why I also love Twisted Loop, because Twisted Loop, look, I only have about half of this thing, about half of that, yeah, and then I can still use the rest of it. So, got a little bit to share and spread out, but it just does a great job of one, kind of keeping it in there, but you can spread it out really good, and it just is easy on the paint. Everybody's like, ah, Twisted Loop's gonna scratch it. Well. Well, why are we using it to dry off our paint? Well, I, I don't know. So th I've heard a few people say that. So I just wanted to kind of clarify that. So I'm done. Let's get that camera back on angle. And y'all have any questions really quick? I I'm open for a couple. So what's up, Jason? 
Uh, that bottle? Oh, I at least got uh, probably 25. You know, I only used maybe 25% of it. So, I mean, it's $8.99. I really don't overthink it. Uh, that, that's one of the things. Disposable rags, microfibers, when I'm doing a coating, those are factored into my cost. And paint prep, I go heavy with that. So those are things that I will just lay on heavy and lay on thick, but I, I want the uh, I want the paint as clean as possible when I'm working, always working as clean as possible. So hopefully that, um... and Scott said, here we go. Most if not all paint preps used in auto body shops, they will put enough on the surface so it can dwell for one minute or two before buffing off. Too much is better than too little. IPAs will flash too quickly and not remove all oils off the paint. Being safe versus sorry later when applying a coating can be painful after all the prep work needed for a coating. So there, he said it better than I have been trying to say it the whole time. And I'm always long-winded, but I can't help it. So there you go, you have it. It's in there right there in the comments. And that's that's the reason why. So the one to two minute, let it dwell. You want it to, you want it to work on there. So I love y'all, sir. Thank you so much for commenting. I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, I'm done. I will talk to y'all later. I got to get working on this and get this temperature up here. Three heaters are doing their job. So love y'all. Y'all take it easy. Have a great evening. Bye.